Hey guys, happy Friday. Hey, I wanna to talk to you guys today about what dreams, what goals, what plans, what, what things do you wanna do next in your life that are holding you back? Um, I recently had a conversation with my own business coach a couple weeks ago, and he said to me, okay, Lynn, we're gonna talk about 2018. What are those t uh, first quarter uh, plans you have? What are the second and the third and the fourth quarter plans? And I explained what I had going on right now. And then we got into the second quarter and I said, you know what, I, I'm, I'm hesitant. I'm a little fearful. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I don't know if I know what I want to do, but I don't know if it's going to be received well. I don't even know if it makes sense. Um, I don't know. And what he said sort of is the reason for this video. He said, Lynn, begin, begin. Start doing things now that are going to compel you into that next quarter. It's gonna set you up for those next things. You don't have to have all the answer. Because I said, I feel like I'm just sort of wading through mud. You know, nothing is, is, I'm not doing anything with this dream that I have. And he said, begin. So that's what I'm on here today, to be that, that virtual cheerleader for you. Because I know that I'm not the only one out in the world that's got dreams and plans and, and um, some pretty audacious things that they want to do, but they just don't have the answer. So what I'm telling you is to begin. Begin. Um, be inadequately prepared for whatever. Be, be inadequately prepared because no one is perfectly prepared. Don't let anybody fool you. You can be as prepared as you think you're going to be, but there's going to be some glitches. So be okay with being inadequately prepared with those goals and those dreams. Be okay with the odds being imperfect because the odds are never perfect, right? There's always going to be glitches and, and things that we're going to have to put band-aids on and fix. So be okay. Just begin. Um, drop the pride. I know I've got to drop my pride. Uh, be humble and be okay saying, I don't have all the answers. Drop the pride and just begin. Um, and be excited about the what ifs. What if that happens? This is so excited, exciting, so begin. So you wanna know how the best way to turn the fear factor on its head, the best way to turn that fear of the unknown, and this is gonna sound so obvious, but to, we really need to be obvious and do it. You just have to be comfortable instead of being wigged out about the unknown, choose. Be, um, be very uh, in tune with you choosing instead to be wigged out. Choose instead to be comfortable. I don't have all the answers, but what if? Plus guys, it's all done in faith. If we could do everything on our own, well then the world would be a whole different place, but we can't do everything on our own. And that's where faith comes in. So I want to read you guys something that really, really sort of put the, put the lid on this topic for me. And I'm like, that's it. I'm going to begin. So it says this, it says our Western minds are trained and we're, we are Western minded thinkers. We don't lack for very much of anything and we want it yesterday. We don't have much patience. So our Western trained minds are trained to go down the path of explaining. We always think we need to explain. We think if we can understand, if we can understand things, then we can control it. That's our Western mind thinking. We only do things that we know the how, the what, the, what, the why, for what purpose, then we're gonna do it. If, if, if I can understand something, then I'm going to do it. If I can control it, then I'm going to do it. But what I'm saying is to get out of your own way and adopt the mindset of let the adventure begin. Let the adventure begin. 
So be okay with being inadequately prepared. Be okay with the odds being imperfect. Drop your pride and just begin. That's my message. Guys, if you got anything um, worthy out of this, share it with people because I know I'm not the only one that needs to begin, needs to step out of my comfort zone and begin. So share this if you enjoyed it. Um, if you like this video, I do videos all the time, especially on my blog, lynnschrader.com. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great weekend, guys. And my challenge is to begin. So if you want to make some notes in the comments, leave a note in the comment about what are you fearful about beginning, I'd love to be your cheerleader. So what are you fearful of starting? What are you fearful of beginning? Because your mind thinks you have to know all of the whys, what's, how's, and for what purpose. Just begin. Share it with me. I'd love to be your cheerleader. Have a great Friday, guys.